Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor and welcome to the top three Unity assets for April, May 2024. And I've got over 120 that have appeared for this month. And I'll leave the full list down in the description for you to check out. And today I've got a whole collection of really useful editor extension tools, assets, and so many more. Do let me know down below if you want to see any more of these assets in further detail. Do check out my playlist for this series because I'm doing this for years and there's thousands of free assets that will really set your Unity apart. Do be sure to check out the last day of the Unity sale and there'll also be more in the future. And check out my Patreon too to get over 225 different scripts, assets and projects. And there's a full list as well. Everything down in the description. So the first one, we've got the Cobra Robot Character Pack which is a high quality 2D character controller with nine different animations for shooting, attacking combos with high resolution textures up to 4,000 in resolution, whether it's side scrolling RPG. The next one we've got, we've got Enviro Spawn, and this is a tool for populating large areas of environments. So this is a tool where you can add details like grass, rocks, and trees, where you can just drag the objects that you want and set the dimension and the density and it will spawn these objects across the environment for you. And it does work on any surface and any collider, even using terrain meshes too. One similar to this is the Game Object Painter. It's a really nice, easy freehand tool to be able to paint, drag and drop with really cool tools with a line mode, rectangle, circle switch mode, auto mode. You can delete with certain button presses. You can use grids, randomization and so many more for be able to place your prefabs all across your scene in such an easier way. The next one is the Torby Foliage Engine. This is a single pivot vegetation system which allows you to simulate multiple pivots per mesh, similar to that that you see in Pivot Painter. And this is the light version and only comes with essential features and doesn't come with any shader spot and only one wind example when it's got the gentle breeze. You could do basic trunk blending, realistic wind behaviors, real time seasons and control with that, PBR shading, self shading for other styles, and loads of support and example scenes included. The next one is the Fantasy Worlds Old Forest Demo, which is a selection of six AAA quality stylized prefabs from the Big Pack, suitable for the built-in and URP, with six different trees, and the Big Pack is even available. The next one is something called the City Package, which is a polygon style package with lights, with 45 different real-sized buildings, including police and fire departments, lots of shops, gas stations, hospitals, and more and over 189 different props to throw out into your entire city level. The next one is the on-screen pointer and indicator for game objects, which is pretty useful for anything in games where you need to be able to mark where locations be, whether you need that in a compass or something to mark objectives. Next one is the manual toolbar, which allows you to add your own toggles, buttons, and labels to the upper toolbar of the Unity editor. Whether you want to open assets like loading a scene, opening a prefab, selecting different things from the hierarchy, calling methods, you can actually customize this to be able to left click, right click, or do different Different actions. There is a big collection of pixel art style tile sets, backgrounds and other icons and this is from this developer and you can check their entire page and I'll leave the link down below so you can check all these out for this month. We've got the Toast Notification Message System, which allows you to customize messages anywhere. That's perfect for whether you need to give instant feedback or do dialogue for your game. So you can customize each message, set the message duration, use pause timers, hide the messages and do simple API calls to be able to make this happen. I've got a really useful one called the Missing Script Finder, which if there's one thing that's really annoying when you've got null references and missing components and script, you can use this to find it in one click. We've got something called 3D Measurements, so this allows you to select any 3D object in the world and this allows you to check the dimensions and the distance of any other 3D object. So it's a great way for debugging, to be able to check for your level designing, to be able to check for proportions and making sure they're right against other assets in your game world too. Next one I think which is really useful is called the Lightweight Mesh Info. So this one is as simple as you click on the object and there's an editor window which will tell you exactly how many triangles, vertices and sub meshes the object has. The next one is the Easy Interaction system where you can pick up, examine, use and manipulate. It does require Dootween and it comes with its own inspection, inventories, save and load system and loads of integrated features. Next one is the Visu Free Camera Follow 2D. So this asset is as simple as add the object that you want it to follow and it will smoothly track your 2D platformer or any side scrolling behavior so you don't need to set it up yourself. The last one in the list here is something called the Timescaler. So it's a debug tool for testing in gameplay, whether you need to test animations, 
or other things where you need to just time scale on the fly so you can make it look like it's in slow motion speed it up it's got a bunch of editor buttons which you can easily select those within gameplay and even use keyboard shortcuts so do be sure to check out all these and i'll put all the links down below so you can get hold of them and the massive list for this month so be sure to check out all the links down below for the unity sales and all the savings that i've found and do be sure to come and check out on my patreon because i've got 225 different scripts assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else Big thank you to all my patrons too, massive thank you to Peter Steiner and everybody else who comes to watch the video. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.